Today, by the end of this video, we're going to fix the four scary problems you have with lead generation tools and the reasons why your clients will never reply. All right, so for the intro, this problem, the first problem with lead generation tools such as web scrapers and downloaders is that you're not really getting leads. You're simply collecting data. You're collecting the information of someone that never personally stated that they were interested and what you have for sale. A lead is someone who volunteered willingly their contact information with the intent. This is the part that we're all missing. The intent to purchase or be contacted by you or your team. So when you scrape leads and then plug them into instantly.com after buying your domains and warming them up just to do cold email, those are not really leads. Those are just people's data that have no idea who you are, who are probably going to get pissed off, and we've solved that problem. So how much faster would you scale to hundreds of dollars months if leads, real leads, came to you? How much time would you save if you only needed to create one attraction asset per day instead of sending 1,500 emails or DMs every day getting blocked, banned, or blacklisted? Okay, another question. How much more enjoyable would it be running an agency when you just, like an infomercial, you're taking orders instead of doing free consultations. See, no other place on earth, no store, no grocery store, no car dealership, uh, uh, no movie theater, none of them require you, I mean, or the customer doesn't require you to sit on a consultation call with them or anything like that. They just walk in, see what they want, and they purchase. How much better would it be for you in life if um, you know, your partners or your customers just bought from you instead of you having to get on a stupid call? So now you see why they all sell their marketing agencies. All these other dudes, uh, these YouTube channels, these gurus, they end up selling their agencies and then creating a course because they can't stand it anymore. Who the hell want to get on calls? So let's finally solve this lead gen problem once and for all, brothers and sisters. So we have four main problems, okay? Four main problems with scraped contacts. I'm going to do it one by one. Number one, let's stroll down. 95% of the time they'll reply with an a-hole response because they're tired of cold pitches. So remember guys, we talked about what a commodity is and what a rare commodity is. You are a commodity, someone of service, someone that can provide something of value. Yes, you are a commodity and you do have something valuable, but so does the other 1.936 billion people that are starting the marketing agency out here today. SMMA, uh, AI agencies, lead generation agencies, all of you guys look the exact same when you send out cold emails to get partners or clients, okay? So this is why they hit you with a whole responses because they're tired of cold pitches. It's not that what you have sucks. It's because they're tired of cold pitches. And we solved that on the channel, okay? Number two, even if they are kind when you do outreach, they're still extremely skeptical, all right? In the other video as well, the, um, the only two ways we do outreach, cold outreach, we explained in that video the how you guys are giving up. You're surrendering your uh, leverage and your authority by doing this type of cold outreach um, with these leads. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're surrendering it because they understand that you came to them. So even though they have a problem, they didn't ask for your help. So they look at you like you need them more, which is why they won't pay for your premium prices because you look like a hypocrite. Is this how you are actually generating leads for yourself? Is that how you're going to be generating leads for them? Well, they're not impressed and they don't want it. Okay, now, number three right here. Even if they do book a call with you, the show up rate is trash because they didn't initiate the first contact, right? So they'll they'll go ahead and book on your calendar is the same way as when you book the dentist. I mean, unless you have a wisdom tooth that's bothering you, some type of abscess or 
or something like infection, oral cancer screening or some crap like that, a lot of the times we miss our dentist appointments. Like we'll, we'll forget about it. It's not urgent. So these dudes will pick something else and prioritize something else, even though they booked on your calendar. So for all these dudes you see on these channels and you get impressed when they have a full booking calendar, half of those people don't even show up. Remember that. Okay. Now, number four, since they have the advantage of being the recipients of initial contact, they have the power in a relationship and feel that you need them more than they need you. This will result in them trying to lowball you, even if they do decide to try your services or request some type of free trial period or some bull crap like that, with you covering the cost of the leads. Ooh, wee. Who are these girls but you? So this is why doing all these dang on lead generation tools, like it's, it pretty much sets you up. You look like a clone. They don't have respect for you when you use these tools to do outreach. Now, what on earth or heaven makes me an authority on lead generation? Well, one of my top students made over 140K in less than 90 days using what I teach in my programs, okay? That's Coach Keith, you might've heard of him. All right, B, one thing you'll notice is that um, most of our student testimonials, like they get results in less than 24 to 48 hours. Like you're not gonna see or hear any of our stories where they're talking about, yeah, about six months it took me to get my first situation. No, 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 no. It happens rapidly, okay? Then we have TT right here who got in less than an hour of signing up the same day, might I add, results, their first results. Then we have Shaquem, very next day, started getting leads coming in. So we know what we're doing over here on this side, guys. All right, so see, I myself actually live what I teach. Me, one of the only agency owners to actually move out of the USA, supporting a family of five while building businesses that have produced 80 to 100K weeks profit, no e-commerce revenue fluff. And these are just some of our partnership payments that come in that's completely hands off, going straight to the bank, baby. <laughs> I'm laughing to the bank right now, 50 cent voice, okay? All right, so we actually do this. Now, how do lead generation tools turn every agency into a commodity? Now, I hope you guys are learning. This is something that you actually need to know, guys, right? I'm trying to help you change your life and your finances, okay? So what is a commodity in simple words? A commodity is anything or any useful or valuable thing, especially something that is bought or sold, okay? So like I told you earlier, you are valuable. You have something valuable. But the problem is you're not a rare commodity. And we're about to get into that in a minute. So entrepreneurs are commodified or turned into objects when selling their labor on the market to an employee. So if you're an employee uh, um, and you're employed, you're a commodity to your employer. OK, so now we got agency owners are commodified when they sell the same thing, such as lead generation, or if they use the same strategies, or if they use the same strategies, we're talking about your cold email and text blast software, and appear similar to other agencies. Why is this a problem? Okay, well, when you're a commodity, you can be replaced on a whim and have no value beyond anyone else in the market. Like, who really wants to be replaceable? Okay? Like, I mean, you remember how popular that be say irreplaceable, you just don't know about me, you just don't know about me song. I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. That's how these businesses feel when you reach out to them and present to yourself the same way as everybody else. So lead generation tools such as Zoom Info, Apollo, Lead 411, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which every single YouTube channel talking about lead generation tells you to use, uh, Rocket Reach, uh, they make agency owners commodities because you all use them. Think about it as if your agency is a product on a virtual shelf that, that prospects walk down the aisle and shop for. If your agency were a new toothpaste, how would it stand out on the same shelf as Colgate, Crest, or Sensodyne? You, you think about it like that. Now you're starting to see, because all of you guys are scraping the same list from the same providers, same software tools, and doing the same 
uh, uh, plugins and same implementation of warming up the email addresses and domains and same subject lines and all of that bull crap. In Agency to Partner, we teach you how to attract these clients slash partners to you with their wallets already open, ready to purchase or partner with any of you, okay? So you wouldn't have a chance on that shelf because your placement is the same. Your branding probably looks like a knockoff and you have the same ingredients as those other agencies. I mean, toothpaste. <laughs> the only way you can compete is by price and you still lose. You don't wanna compete by price I mean, because then people will go to free and then you lose to them, okay? That analogy should bring visual clarity on how you look when you do traditional outreach to the same leads list, okay? But don't worry. I won't just leave you with the problem and no solution. In a minute, I'll tell you exactly how you should be doing lead generation. Technically, what I call profit generation because the leads came through this method and they are inbound and are already aware of how your service works, why it works and that they have already seen it work. Plus they know the price already. So you get some of the highest closing rates in history with this method. Okay. So one of the ways that we do this guys, I told you I was going to show you one of the ways we do this. Uh, well, first let me show you a visual. This is what your agency is. You're number one or number two. Okay, when you do code outreach using these scraping tools and these blasting tools, you are either number one or number two. You're the off-brand commodity. You're still a toothpaste like Crest, but you're you, nobody trusts you. Nobody believes you. Nobody's just going to come in the store without any good commercial, without any testimonials or nothing and just buy you off the shelf because you don't have any brand recognition. Nobody trusts you. Okay, all right, so... That's the difference between a commodity and a rare commodity. We as agency owners are now, we're building anti-agencies. We want to be rare commodities, something that those business owners have yet to come across. They don't even know how to react. It's so awesome. It's so marvelous, bloody marvelous. Okay. All right. So now, as promised, to solve your lead generation problems, the first step is to do the red carpet method. We show you how to do the roll out the red carpet method, which is to prove a few things up front. You want to claim your authority, your credibility, all of those things up front by giving them what they ask for. If this is lead generation, why are you guys fishing with no bait? They want leads, some of them. So why are you sending them a stupid pitch? Why are you sending them a dumb, cold email? No, send them what they asked for. If they're looking for leads, give them leads. Oh, but David, I don't have a budget. I can't just be running ads and giving them free leads. Okay, well, that's cool because in the agency to partner program, we show you free ways of generating these leads through partnerships and joint ventures, okay? So you can generate endless amounts of free leads and you can just fill them up, pause, until they trust you and you can demand whatever number you want to be written on a freaking check or sent through a wire because they can't say what you have is an addictive and don't freaking work when you use that method. So the roll the red carpet method you're just sending them what they ask for and then you introduce yourself and they've already been expecting you. They are already excited. They're ready to treat you and listen to any suggestions that you have for their business because you've already proved to them. Like they don't even really know you, but the first impression is that this person has already been growing my business behind the scenes anonymously. That's why we call it the rail, roll the red carpet out because they start treating you like a freaking king. That's how me and my family, when we went to the restaurant that we did reputation management for, they was feeding us for free, sending us away with the go boxes, giving us the best of the best and all of that stuff. Okay, roll the red carpet method. Now, the second method is an expose. And uh, we gained that skill from the journalist, uh, the journalism and like the news and the blogging and the gossip and all of those different types of industries right there, we figured how to perfect doing exposés 
public exposés on potential partners that you guys call clients and getting them to come to us because we shine the light on them to where they can't ignore us and they have to respond. Okay, so those are the two ways. And if you want to know both of those ways in detail of how to do those two ways, we have a video that we just released on the channel. It's already up there. The only two ways any agency should do cold outreach and check that out. If you're ready to get into the community of winners, people that are making thousands per day, people that make money within 24 to 48 hours of actually starting to apply this stuff or even hours, if you're ready to stop missing out, then you can go to the first pinned comment and get into the agency to partner program, stop getting clients, convert the clients that you already have right now into partners. We show you how to plug in 10 monetization methods and you start instantly making more money and creating new income streams from the same people. No more need to do all of that outreach and prospecting and signing new clients every five damn seconds. Okay. So this is how you can pull your six to seven figures out of a few partners rather than having a million people paying you $1,000 per month giving you headaches and aneurysms. Love you guys.